A group of young adventurers head into the Ugly Mug Tavern in search for a new quest. In this video, I'm going to show you how I design or create a tavern or an inn, the perfect starting location for any D&D adventure. Let's go. So my tavern is going to be plopped right into the middle of Port Vela, the city that I've been running my game in. I'm calling it the Ugly Mug, I think. I got that from just one of those random generators online. I don't quite remember because I've had this tavern in mind uh, since I started the game, but the players have never been there. But it looks like they could be headed that way in the near future, so I need to make it up and I thought it'd be fun to share the process with you. So the first step in this whole process is coming up with the backstory. I think any good tavern or inn needs to have like a, a hook some sort of reason for being there, and why it's an interesting place for your players to go visit. So even though my players aren't going there as level one adventurers, I want to sort of create this tavern or inn as a, a place that adventure could start. You know, the classic D&D, &D, we meet in a tavern to get our first quest kind of thing. So I went ahead and wrote down all of my story ideas. I wanted this to be a really simple, straightforward, classic D&D &D tavern. The Ugly Mug, it's run by Sarg Duzar, a retired half-orc adventurer. You know, he's the, the typical tough guy, uh, doesn't put up with no trouble in my bar kind of kind of dude. And the sort of visual hook of this tavern, I think there's going to be a wall of shelves that are full of broken busted mugs which is how maybe not how the tavern got its name but it is definitely now the namesake of the tavern and the idea is anytime anyone stirs up any trouble sarg stops it right away no no bar fights in here you know he takes a tankard and busts it over your ugly mug so it's not the actual mug that's ugly it's you that's ugly <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what? So when the players walk in and I start describing this kind of dive bar type of place with a bunch of broken mugs on display, it's gonna be a little odd with the collection of NPCs in this place. And the idea is a lot of these interesting people are seen entering the tavern but never seen leaving. So maybe the players pick up on that rumor somewhere. But basically, you know, there's a secret entrance in the tavern that leads down somewhere. I'm not going to say what it is in this video and I'm not going to be drawing it. But if you like this idea and want to use it for yourself, you can have the secret entrance lead down into a dungeon or an escape route into the sewers out of the city or maybe like some sort of crazy wizard portal or something. But yeah, main feature is the secret door, which is behind the display of ugly mugs. Okay, and that leads us into the next part of the planning designing phase. Thinking about the layout, and basically with any map drawing, whether it's a dungeon or a world map or a tavern. You got to think about all the things that go inside this place. So I made a list, you know, a tavern has to have a bar, you know, there's a kitchen where Sarg cooks his spiced potatoes. There's round tables and booths and there's got to be a hearth. Of course there's the shelves with all the broken mugs. My idea, I'm not going to draw it in this one, but my idea is that Sarg lives on the second floor above the tavern. Yeah, it's it's in the city so there are no like stables or anything connected to it, any, anything like that. You know, an inn with some stables and stuff might be a more common thing that you'd want to include if your tavern inn is set in a small village and that's that's where you're starting your game so keep that in mind but the ugly mug is in the middle of port vela my big city so there's none of that extra stuff sarg says you can go sleep somewhere else not not here at the ugly mug and one thing i do want to include are some bathrooms or a bathroom because uh i feel like that's something that gets left out a lot and maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something else that I'm not thinking of that is super typical in a sort of fantasy tavern. I don't know, that's all I can think of. We're gonna include some bathrooms. Okay, so we have a good story hook and we know all of the things that need to go inside. So now it is time to start laying out 
the Ugly Mug Tavern. So before I get into any sort of final artwork, if you've watched any of my past videos, you know I am very step-by-step step building upon each part of the process as we go. So I'm gonna jump on the bottom of this sheet of graph paper and do a little bit of sketchy planning. Okay, so I'm just kind of going for it here. I'm keeping in mind the story and everything that needs to go inside of this tavern. I just kind of arbitrarily selected a 12 by 15 size grid. It gets a little messy, but you can see I kind of cut away at some of the corners a little bit just to make the shape of the building a little more interesting. Port Vela is a city that was kind of sprung up pretty quickly, so I kind of feel like having just perfectly square or perfectly rectangular buildings doesn't seem to fit the style of the city. I guess the other other reason to have a couple of like weird corners is to hide this uh, passageway down into wherever secret places it goes. So really this is all just planning. I guess it's important to do this step on a piece of graph paper. Right now I'm working on a quarter inch grid, but each of the squares represents like five feet, a typical kind of D&D &D battle mat grid size. So um, I'm kind of keeping that in mind as well as I'm going here. Like all of my map tutorials, none of the drawing is, is particularly difficult. I'm keeping it really simple shapes. So like the tables are just circles and the chairs are like little boxes with back to them I guess you know everything's top down so you know there's there's round bar stools that are probably the same size as round barrels that are in the storage room but my main point here is that even if you feel like you can't draw there's nothing really complicated here so it's just lines and boxes and circles you know if you can draw a stick figure you can draw a cool looking tavern map it just takes this planning phase beforehand where you're coming up with what shapes go where and what represents what. And once you get that down, you're good to go and you can make something that looks really cool. The reason for doing this initial step, one is to figure out the layout of the place. You know, you gotta have enough space to fit all the little things in. Two is figuring out how you're gonna draw all the tables and chairs and the barrels of ale and all the other stuff. Okay, so I have my little one sheet plan of the Ugly Mug Tavern. Got my sketch of the diagram ready to go. Now I could just grab a fresh sheet of graph paper and clean up this sketch and then scan it in the computer, blow it up, or just use that as a reference point to show my players. But that is not the most fun way to do things when we're playing D&D. &D. Instead, we're gonna make a huge map. Yeah! All right, I can't even fit this into the frame of the camera. So I got this huge pad of grid paper. I don't know if you can even see the grid on here. It's this nice blue grid. So I'm gonna use a sheet of this to draw my ugly mug tavern as a sort of battle mat. You know, battles might not even happen here, especially since Sarg you know, smashes mugs over people's heads to get them to stop fighting and stuff. If this is the first place my players are gonna visit or one of the places they're gonna go back to over and over again, having a map that you can pull out whenever they go into the tavern is a super fun way to get your players excited about uh, a certain location in your world. It makes it feel more important. Okay. Let's get to drawing. Okay, so I've cut down my giant graph paper to about the size I need, leaving a little border around the outside. So I use my pencil to mark the major walls and outlines of the building just so I don't make any mistakes because I'm going straight in with my Copic marker. You don't need a special marker or anything, any sort of marker, a Sharpie, whatever that can make a, a nice thick black line. I'm using this chisel tip just to get the, the outer wall of the ugly mug nice and thick. I'm sort of working in a hierarchy of thick to thin lines. So the walls of the building are the thickest and then the elements inside the building are like the brush tip of the marker. So all of the tables and chairs and barrels and the bar top and the shelves, they're all this sort of medium size. And then later you'll see I go in with a, a, a smaller marker to put in just some details, just to make things look a little more filled in. So keeping that hierarchy of line weight in mind really helps to 
define the space and make it super clear. You know, the thickest line are the walls that the players can't move through and maybe they can step over chairs and jump over the bar top or into the booths or whatever because the lines are a little thinner. You get the idea. The other thing is I'm taking this a lot slower than my sketching phase. I'm trying to be very deliberate with the lines I'm making because I'm doing this straight in pen. Usually I do a, a layer in pencil first. That way if I make any mistakes I can erase and redo it but for this one I'm going straight into the marker but I am taking it a little bit slower so I don't make any mistakes or anything. As I'm going I do kind of realize that I'm I maybe should go even slower or maybe that that pass with a pencil would have been good. There's a couple things I'm not super happy with. I think the major one is just the layout of the chairs uh, around the round tables and also the size of the chairs. There's there's some smaller chairs and bigger chairs, but I'm just going to say that Port Vela is a very diverse city. And there's lots of different types of people there. So, you know, there's some halfling sized chairs and there's some half orc and dragonborn sized chairs. So at first it looks like a mistake, but actually it was super planned and that's exactly how I meant it to be. <laughs> All right, so I got the bar, the whole kitchen storage area with everything um, medieval fantasy kitchen needs. <laughs> bunch of tables and a hearth and the main shelves in the back corner filled with the ugly mugs. Behind it, I'm leaving the secret passageway blank just because if I put this down in front of the players, I don't want them to immediately say, hey, wh where do those stairs behind those that wall go? And last but not least, we have our little bathroom <laughs> in the front of the tavern. Okay, Finishing up by adding just a little bit of extra texture to the outside, you know, just a little little stones and dirt things to make it look like this tavern is sitting in the streets of Port Vela. Okay, and there we have it. The ugly mug is ready for miniatures and players and adventure time. We got a one in between the city guard and snip two shoes. What? Here we are. The Ugly Mug Tavern. Battle mat. Yeah. Okay, the last thing I want to reiterate here is that nothing on this map is difficult to draw. I promise you, if you just give it a little bit of planning, a little bit of time, you can make a killer looking tavern battle mat that your players can revisit over and over again. It's just circles and rectangles and some lines. Even if you think you can't draw, I know you can do it. And putting this down in front of your players is gonna be an awesome, super rewarding feeling. Trust me, I know firsthand. I have lots more D&D videos about making maps and miniatures. Check out the other videos on the channel and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Let me know if you have any questions about this process down in the comments below. Lots more fun D&D and drawing and skateboarding videos to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!